uh, that law that he backed doesn't negate the it lays the groundwork for him to run for president coming up we'll expose the latest stunt by gaslighting gavin and tell you what we're doing to try to stop him I'm Carl DeMaio, Chairman of Reform California, and this week, Governor Gavin Newsom sat down for an interview with the San Francisco Chronicle, uh, his favored media outlet, because they always give him just glowingly positive coverage. Um, and he basically set the narrative, the false narrative, for why he's not to blame for California's skyrocketing homelessness crisis. Uh, Longtime viewers of this podcast know we've already made the case, we've got the receipts, as to why Governor Gavin Newsom is indeed exclusively to blame for the homeless crisis in California through his bad policies. And we'll get to that in just a minute. But let me first give you uh, a taste of the narrative that he's uh, peddling right now. Here's uh, NBC Bay Area covering the um, comments that Newsom made in the Chronicle interview, and we'll just... Uh, We'll share with you the Chronicle story in just a minute. New at 11 strong words from Governor Newsom when it comes to homelessness in San Francisco. In an exclusive interview with the Chronicle, the governor says the court order preventing the city from clearing homeless encampments is preposterous and inhumane. The former San Francisco mayor tells the Chronicle, quote, ultimately, everyone's going to blame me for everything, but they need to be accountable as well. These judges are wrong on these overriding, sweeping orders. Oh, Alaska they're going to blame me. They're going to blame me. But really, look at the guy behind the tree, the judge in the black robes. You know, the liberal judge in the black robes. Now, let me just point out that uh, we've had judicial issues since 2008. And other states have to live under federal law. It's not like federal law applies just to California, as Newsom has tried to, you know, falsely uh, peddle. The uh, court case that I think he's referring to is Boise, Idaho, um, where they basically, in, in, a, in a court ruling, uh, were told that they could not clear homeless camps unless they had a shelter bed available for a homeless person. Uh, again, I disagree with the Boise ruling, uh, but that was handed down years ago, and other states in this country are complying with that ruling, and they're reducing homelessness. Nationally, homelessness has gone down 20% uh, nationwide, ex except in California, where it's gone up by about 36%, even though we're spending more and more money than any other state per capita, per homeless person, uh, $25 billion, by the way, in just the last four years alone. Um, and yet... Our homelessness crisis has gone up. So it's not federal law that's to blame. But this is the narrative that Newsom is trying to peddle because it also feeds into his ability to run for president. Because who, who appoints federal judges? The president appoints federal judges. Oh, and again, this guy is running for president. And this is just the latest uh, example of that. He gets two benefits out of this false narrative that he's trying to peddle, that the judges are to blame. Um, the first benefit is he shifts the blame. Uh, even within California, people think, oh, it's not Governor Gavin Newsom's uh, fault. He's really, hurt. he's helping so much. No, 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 it's the federal judge's fault. And secondly, he gets to say, look, I'm running for president because I'm, I need to clean up homelessness in California because those darn federal judges made us do it. Here is the uh, San Francisco Chronicle article, uh, pretty lengthy, very very um, um, praise-oriented. Uh, listen, look at this uh, paragraph here. Uh, as San Francisco mayor in 2010, Newsom campaigned for a law prohibiting sitting or lying on sidewalks, which voters passed. Uh, again, uh, that law that he backed doesn't negate the fact that his policies of housing first prohibit enforcement and prohibit getting to the root cause of homelessness. More on that in just a minute. Uh, quote, as governor, he's allocated millions of dollars for encampment cleanups, even sometimes picking up trash at cleared encampments himself. Oh, Gavin Newsom, he's out there doing, doing the dirty work. We actually searched for a couple photos. Look at this one. There's Gavin wearing a COVID mask. 
Yeah, in his uh, ill-fitting uh, uh, blue shirt there, kind of rolled up halfway to his, uh, his uh, elbow, uh, picking up trash. Does that look like a homeless camp, or does it just look like the side of a freeway? Um, look, if he's actually scrubbing sidewalks filled with feces, then I might give him a little bit of credit for participating in a cleanup. But this is, this is a photo op, an absolute photo op. Here's another uh, angle from another photo op. Look at all the guys wearing their orange vests. But Newsom thought, oh, I wouldn't look uh, uh, best in an orange vest or with a hard hat. I'm just going to wear my ill-fitting blue shirt and my COVID mask. Look at me. I'm picking up a cup with a little grabby stick. Again, scrub feces, line sidewalks down, and, and then maybe we'll give you some credit. These are just photo ops, by the way. But take a look. You know, the, the San Francisco Chronicle is trying to puff up Newsom as someone really working hard, even so hard that he's in the trenches uh, cleaning up trash from homeless people. These people have such a crush on Gavin Newsom. Now, here's the other thing that was pretty interesting. Uh, in addition to you know blaming the uh, the judges, uh, he actually threatened. Ah, here it is. Newsom threatened uh, that he was going to put the judge's telephone number on a billboard and tell people to call the judge if they weren't happy with homeless camps uh, in their community. Quote, I was literally talking about putting up a big sign with the judge's phone number saying, call the judge, we want to clean this up too. Yes, we are aware. Yes, we see what you see. We feel what you feel. Oh, just vomit. Gavin Newsom, again, with this San Francisco Chronicle article, which is a puff piece, they're not going to challenge them. They're not going to actually ask about why are your policies in place that prohibit us getting to the root cause of homelessness. More on that in a second. Uh, this is nothing more than a gaslighting piece trying to set the stage as to why he's not to blame and federal judges are to blame. Who appoints federal judges? He needs to run for president. Now, what is to blame for homelessness? Gavin Newsom's policies. Um, Gavin Newsom is a proponent of Housing First. I call Housing First uh, homelessness forever. Housing First is a policy invented by left-wing lunatics with no data, no evidentiary base that says homelessness is best solved by giving a homeless person the keys to a permanent taxpayer funded housing unit. Permanent taxpayer funded housing unit. Um, they've given up on trying to get to the root cause of homelessness. They actually under Housing First prohibit providers from getting to root cause and trying to break the cycle of dependency. 80% of homeless people have a chronic condition of mental illness and or substance abuse. It's no surprise that in California that we've seen a spike in homelessness as we, A, have legalized drugs, B, have decided not to enforce um, um, laws and not you know, punish people and, and, and prosecute people, uh, and, and, and B, or and C, we, we literally are telling providers you're not allowed to require treatment for drugs or treatment for mental illness as a contingency, as a requirement, a precondition of getting any state funding. And so the homeless providers are told they're not allowed, if they're getting any government money, to talk about uh, a mandatory drug test, a mandatory mental health or substance abuse uh, program. They can't even have rules for clean, sane, and sober living. They just have to hand over the keys to these taxpayer subsidized permanent housing units under Housing First. What's the cost? Cost is six hundred thousand to a million dollars per unit. Who builds those units? Developers, rich developers, who give campaign contributions to Gavin Newsom. Again, follow the money, and it explains every bad policy we have from these government um, politicians. So Gavin Newsom has never backed down from Housing First. He has doubled and tripled down. In fact, he's putting ballot measures on the November, uh, the March twenty twenty four ballot to raid mental health funds, divert the money to housing first, and then bond it, put it on the credit card to build a bunch of projects all at once. Absolute insanity. Not a single challenge is raised by the Chronicle on G Governor Gavin Newsom's culpability and responsibility for the homeless crisis. But hey, they've always given him a pass. 
and Gavin's got some gaslighting to do. He needs to get this false narrative out there because he wants to run for president. There's no doubt in my mind. At Reform California, we're bringing the truth out. If he runs for president, hey, game on. We want to expose Newsom's uh, failure, not only on homelessness, but across the range of problems. We actually have a campaign online at exposedgavinnewsom.com, exposedgavinnewsom.com. You can chip in. Uh, we also at reformcalifornia.org have a variety of these news stories. And uh, we've got our homelessness solution, the people first plan, not housing first. It's people first. Get to the root cause and start looking at mental health, um, drug abuse, uh, treatment, and partner with law enforcement to get these homeless people off the streets based upon the, the petty crimes that they commit and have treatment and real change happen as a, as a, as a condition of the court. So check us out, like this video, subscribe to this channel, help us get past the liberal media's censorship, uh, spread the word by supporting Reform California. Till next time, this is Carl DeMaio with Reform California. Thanks for watching. Help us break through the censorship of the liberal media by liking this video, sharing it with your friends, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Angel, you're hiding, Angel. You're ashamed of yourself, Angel.